Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil. This is our second video for React project, and in this video, we will set up our uh, React project. For that, we will install our React JS application. Then uh, we will uh, run it, and we will add Bootstrap and routing also. And after that, a basic setup will be done, right? And what modules and what features we will develop in this complete series? I already told you in the previous video. Link is given in the description box if you just want to watch that video. So now let's uh, start with the writing a new application. So I already created a uh, folder with the name of project because in this folder we will uh, put here our backend as well as our frontend. Frontend, as you know, that we are using React JS, and for the backend we will use a Laravel so that we can create APIs and other things also, right? So just write here CMD and write here npx create React. App and our project name, which will be ecom dashboard, and just hit the enter. And uh, after that, first of all, it just uh, npx will be uh, set up here, and then our project will be created here. And it will take a little bit time, so that I am just going to pause our video so that we can save time. So uh, application is installed now. So now we can just go in uh, inside this our application folder, and after that, just use here code dot command for open it inside your uh, Visual Studio Code editor. You can use any other editor also, but uh, I will prefer this editor because uh, it will provide the lots of features like extensions and uh, auto intelligence and all. Right? Even you can use uh, any other also. That's totally up to you. So now just also write here npm. Start command to run it on the browser, and uh, within that time we can open here our terminal also so that we can uh, install parallelly Bootstrap and routing, right? So just open official site of React Bootstrap and just go on a first link and uh, let's click on Get Started. And uh, after that, here you can see that npm installed. React Bootstrap and Bootstrap. These are the two libraries that we need to install for uh, using Bootstrap inside uh, React and make a enter, right? And uh, here you can see that our application is also running. So we can just remove this by default code. We we just don't need it, right? So just go to the app.js and uh, remove this extra code. We will just write here a simple line. Let's say h1. Ecom project or something, and uh, now let's check the output. This is working perfectly fine, and uh, within that time, this is this package is actually installing. What we can do here, we can install our, uh, we can add uh, the library path also. There is a two way to use a CSS library. One, you can use directly CSS path, or second thing. You can use CDN. I will prefer the local uh, CSS path because if your internet connection is not working, CDN will um, uh, not actually working, right? Right. So now let's open index.js and put this path here. And uh, just uh, wait for a moment to install it. So Bootstrap is installed now. So now let's uh, try to use it. First of all, let's take a button so that we can check the difference between. Uh, Normal CSS, uh, normal HTML uh, uh, buttons and elements and all, and the Bootstrap elements, right? And just right here, simple button. And uh, let's import one more button from Bootstrap. Import something from React Bootstrap, and let's. Just import here button, and now let's uh, use this button here. Keep in mind, whenever you will use a Bootstrap button, your first letter will be capital, and when you use a normal button, your first letter will be small. And just right here, Bootstrap. Let's save it. Now you can uh, just check the difference between both of them. Uh, just 
about a given output sometime it will this is a little bit slow at a starting after that it will working fine right this is a simple button and this is a bootstrap button that's why we are using bootstrap so that we can save some time uh, with the css right and uh, after that uh, let's jump on a react routing and i just go to the first link right and uh, we already provide you the tutorial for uh, uh, react bootstrap and uh, uh, routing and all you can watch our previous uh, playlist which is uh, given in the description box for a link right and just install this package also and uh, in this video i am not going to show you example for the react router dome because we will use it later time because whenever we will just create uh, some routes because for a moment we don't need to make any route otherwise this video video can be gonna long but if you still just want to looking for a small example then you can just go there and just get, grab some code from here and just use it right so thanks for watching this video and uh, this code will be available on my github account also and th that link is also given in the description box and bye bye thanks for watching this video bye bye take care